soffits, fascias, uh, guttering, etc. has all arrived. So what I've done, we're going to get it cut down. It's currently at five meters in length. Um, so I've measured for the front. We're going to we'll start from the front. We'll do the sides on the soffits, and uh, then we'll do the back. Then we can put the fascias on. You can either cut it with a circular saw or a hacksaw. Um, either way will be fine. Uh, try and get it. It doesn't have to be overly neat because it's going to be hidden by the fascia anyway. So. <laughs> I've gone for hollow soffit boards, um, 30 centimetres as standard, but this is 32 to account for the overhang there and also the overhang there, so I'm going to have to rip a section off. So that's the front soffit, hollow soffit cut down. So we can now offer that up and get it poly pinned in, um, and then once we've done that, we can then measure the sides, get the sides measured. It's quite flexible to suss, I don't know how I'm going to get this on, on my own, but we'll give it a try. What I've done is I've left a slight gap there so I can get in the H trim in there. Um, completely forgot about that bit to be fair, so hopefully we can get that cleaned up. But coming along nice, we can get the back trim on and then the side trims, we're good. What we've got here is some reveal liners, um, also known as fascias, so soffit and fascias to go up there. But effectively, what reveal liners are there? They're more slim line. Um, and they're designed to cap over a timber frame um, instead of where fascias fascias are more as a, a final finish and framing so as you can see hopefully that pulls up but this is um, more of a thinner profile so it's just an L shape whereas a, a fascia is a lot thicker so yeah these are called liners effectively but fascias this is about a centimetre fascias normally about two centimetres and they're used not structurally but um, as more of a final finish so if you don't have a, a timber going straight across you'd use a, a fascia whereas we do in this case so we're using a reveal liner so that's the difference between a fascia and a reveal liner they both do exactly the same thing but fascia is more stable and stronger because it's a, a thicker more denser material as well as this is a bit thinner front fascia is on front soffit's on side soffit we've only got one more soffit to put in and that's this side one obviously it's right up to my neighbors i could go around there they're nice enough um, but what i'm going to do because i've got to get up on the roof anyway so I'm actually going to attempt to put it on from the top. So we put the front and back fascias on and we now need to put the side fascias on. Um, what we need to do though is butt them up so when you butt them up, there's obviously going to be a section in the way, so what we need to do is cut the corner trim out of here so they slot into each other, and then you can put the trim cover on top, right on the edge. So I've just got this off cut. What I'll do is just mark it down as to where it needs to be, and I'll do that on both sides and then just cut that out with a, um, with a saw.
we've just got a corner trim. Um, you only get two of these um, for four. So you just basically cut it in half or cut it down to where you need it. And then um, that will make two. So in order, I think the best way to put these on is to just pile it a hole um, before. Because this is quite a hard plastic. I've got a feeling if I try and tack a, um, a pin head in, it, it's just going to break or split. So I'm just going to pile it up. Uh, 